Hi, it's Charlie again. This is Mind Hurdles, episode eight. And uh, wash, what a week it's been. I think this is going to be a bit of a, a ramble and a diary of some things from this week. Um, it was my granny's funeral on Tuesday, and uh, she passed away a few weeks ago at the age of 107. Um, sort of COVID that finally uh, took her, but she was getting quite old, well, very frail and, and weak, and um, yeah, uh, so it's been, that was a, quite an emotional occasion because of actually seeing people, seeing my parents, my brother and my sister, cousins, aunties, uncles, 30 people in all, and um, it's quite tiring and overwhelming and those flowers uh, from from Tuesday um, because we had the biggest boot of car boot trunk to put the um, flowers in so we got to bring them home so they're on the piano and they've been filling the, the room with uh, a lovely fragrance yeah so I think one of the things about Gran um, she she was such a fun larger than life lady um, and so many memories um, from growing up. Um, there's not many people that make it into their 50s and still have grandparents. Um, and I haven't really known her well the last year or so because she, she sort of forgot who people were and that kind of thing. Um, but one of the really interesting things was how, when she was younger, she always kind of wanted to be at the centre of the action. And as she sort of lost her strength and memory and was in the care home and very much reliant on other people, having been such a strong independent person, she in a way became, rather than becoming frustrated, quite accepting of that, very peaceful, um, very thankful. And um, that's quite extraordinary because old people sometimes go in the opposite direction um, than that and um, I think some of that is just accepting accepting one's lot um, in my faith uh, as a Christian sort of growing up and a lot of my faith was about trying to fix things and strive and, and do better and um, everything could be fixed and there was an answer to everything everything was very um, kind of black and white and if you were feeling down and depressed, one, one better hide those feelings and um, pray harder, quote some scripture at it and hope it would go away. Um, but as I've got older, sometimes you just have to accept and go through difficult things in life. Um, there's an amazing prayer called the Serenity Prayer, and I know often people who are in recovery use it. And when I was younger, I I found it very annoying and wishy-washy, but actually now I find it very profound. Uh, that it will grant me the serenity to um, accept things I can't change, to um, the courage to change things I can, and the wisdom to know the difference. Um, sometimes you just have to accept and go through something really difficult, uh, knowing that it will eventually get better rather than fighting 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 and yeah, sometimes you end up just fighting yourself um, and, and beating yourself up inside that you can't solve it that you can't make it better um, so yeah that's something I've been thinking about quite a lot this week um, beginning of the week we had the change of or the announcements about coming out of the lockdown and I could feel anxieties rising up in me about going back to school and possibly getting ill. I managed to last this far without catching the Covid and I'm worried about getting it, I'm worried about giving it to other people. So that's been going round my head um, but I, I think that's run its course and we'll see what happens on March the 8th in a couple of weeks. Um, school or not I don't know um, so the bit of music that goes under this is called family 
and it's something that sort of reflects just the love flowing through families and the connection is that you know that love that goes through I've got a big crazy family and we, we love each other and find each other annoying in equal measure and but it's the, that middle D is the, the pulsing note that goes right through it and it's connecting it all together so I've rambled on far too long um, I think it's uh, time to go to bed and uh, I will see you in episode 9 bye for now